Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard that I like TKLs and I have done my best to review at least the the popular TKLs. But this one was actually posted about a week and a half, two weeks ago on Budget Keeps sub and I had not seen it. Now this is a keyboard that comes from Ajax X Nacadex. I have a couple of keyboards from them I like. I have a couple of keyboards from them I don't like. But I figured let's go ahead and give this TKL a shot. So today we're taking a look at the Ajax AK873. Um, so I don't know much about the keyboard. I just saw it. Ajax. There, there was a uh, coupon on Amazon, and I was like, well, because it, it was the same day that somebody had posted about it and said, does anyone know anything about this keyboard? So I was like, hey, I, and I, I wasn't able to find much at all as far as videos, so I figured let's go ahead and take a look at it. So um, this does, though, despite, I, I, I believe it's hot swap, but the description was a bit confusing. The only choice that I had were uh, blue switches. So hopefully it's it's hot swap because um, I really don't feel like going through and desoldering a whole bunch of blue switches. So anyway, let's go ahead and open her up. Yeah, there's nothing really. We've got uh, USB wired, it's not wireless. Uh, type C, it's ABS plastic. The keycaps are PVT and they're double shot. It has RGB, not rainbow and anti-ghosting. All right. So, before we take a look at the keyboard, let's see what we have in the box. All right, so we've got what looks like a blank gray keycap and a different colored um, spacebar. We do have some spare switches. As always, I really appreciate when manufacturers include extra switches. Uh, you never know, you know, when one of the switches, you pull it out, bend the pin, it breaks off, whatever. But to have a few extra is always handy. That's why most of us buy more switches than we actually need. I don't know too many people that are like, all right, I'm getting a TKL, I need 87 switches. Well, what if one breaks? That's why they sell them in 90, but anyway. So we've got extra keys, we've got the keycap puller, as well as the uh, the switch puller, the horseshoe one, and the extra keys. Now it does come with, surprisingly enough, now I've been seeing this the second time I've now seen this in a, um, oh, and it was the same brand, it was a Magna Snake. But it was a, that was in a Magic Refiner kit, I believe. So this is your standard, I forget the actual part number, but it's the smaller of the aviator connectors. Um, but it goes in, it screws in, and it does match because this has some orange keys as highlights. But then you have, and this is rubberized, not not the nylon. But it's a, it's a decent cable. I mean, for all the cables I've seen, it's not bad. Um, so that the fact that it includes this in here is pretty interesting and pretty cool, especially for um, a budget board. All right, and here we have the A Jazz. Nacadex Cross AK873. It's a TKL. Now this, I think it had a couple of different colorways, but it had, does have the shine through, but like I said, the highlights on here are orange, so that nice cable that comes with it matches you know, quite well as an accent. Now it does have this, the magnetic removable shroud. And when I first looked at it, I thought it could be another board, but I, uh, after a closer look, because of the lights, the indicator lights, I figured out it, it, it's not the board so that we can get the floating key look. So I am a fan of that. At first, I thought maybe this was a rebrand of the CIY X77, but it's not. So uh, it does have the removable shroud. Now you've got your logo here. 
so you've got your choices of how you want it to look. Some people like this look, the, the, the classic look. Some people like the floating deck look. Now we do have only one set of feet. And this gives me the... There's probably a wireless version of this one, but I did not see it listed. And like I said, this one was the one that was on sale. So we've got two feet. So we're going to have... I mean, one pair of feet, so we're going to have two different typing angles. And these are blues. Despite this keyboard actually being fairly substantial in weight, let me see what it weighs. Uh. Alright, so stock... This keyboard weighs 881 grams. That's a lot. It, I mean, the CIY probably weighs, I think it weighs like 480. Um, and that's a nice TKO, but it definitely needs some um, some dampening. So I'm going to say this probably has, uh, it definitely has something to give it that heft. Uh, the port, while not recessed too much, this top, you're going to have a lot more space and you're going to be able to work with any cables. The port, while uh, if you have this top on, might interfere with some cables. I think if you have all the way off, you're not going to have any problem with any cables because it's really not that recessed. So let's take a look at what we have on the inside without opening her up real quick. And take the keycaps out. And obviously we do have hot shops since it had extra switches. Let's see what kind of... Oh no, are these our Temu? Oh, oh. These are in there really tightly. These are Ajaz branded switches. Uh, if I had to guess because of how that window is made. I would say they're they're perhaps manufactured by Guano. Um, wow, for a clicky switch, it doesn't really... It doesn't really click that much. So that's um, it's fairly disappointing. So anyway, I mean, since it is hot swap, and oh, let's see. Oh wow! But the fact that it has a, um, whether it be a PE foam or an IPXC foam for you know what is a budget board or in stock product, it, that's actually pretty cool. It looks like you know they're catching on, although I don't necessarily like the color of that PCB. Usually when I have PCBs like that, they're cheaper and they tend to break more often. So I don't know if that's the case here. Color shouldn't matter. But I, when I see a PCB with that brownish tan color, many times I end up having issues with whatever electronic device that is. But maybe it's just a curse with me and that color PCB. Anyway, uh, we can look to that we have uh, PCB or plate to PCB foam, um, or it might be, might actually be poron, and oh. and if we poke a hole, it seems to have some open cell foam down below. Now. It may have another layer below it because, like I said, I mean, this puppy's 881 grams. It's heavy. I mean, it's it's, it's substantial. I, I like that in, in keyboards. All right, so let's go ahead while we have a switch out. Let's go ahead and see what these RGBs look like. The RGBs are decently bright. They do have shine through keycaps. Um, All 
right so it has a few rgb modes there um not too bad it is north facing um, but these keycaps that it comes with appear to be oem and they are pbt so looking at it it's actually it, it's a nice looking board it, i mean I like the fact that it's gray. I mean, obviously, you've got the logo there, but if you really want to get rid of it, get some non-acetone nail polish remover, and then it'll come right off. Um, and if you want instructions, I've got a couple of videos showing how to do it on my channel. So, looking at this, I, I mean, I can say it's a, it's a nicely, nicely built board uh, that... I mean, the keycaps aren't too bad. The RGB is pretty good. And I like the fact, I gotta say, I'm, I'm a big fan of TKLs, especially when they have detachable shrouds, because it gives you that option. You know, sometimes you feel like a top, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a shroud, sometimes you don't. But to be able to have the choice of either one of those, I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, the heft of the keyboard, <clears throat> I mean, I can tell you right now, I don't think the sound test is gonna be anything amazing. They're blues, they're not lubed, and Stabilizers are actually not that bad. I was, uh, honestly, all right, well, here's something, oh, here's something interesting. I, I guess I should have taken a look at the, um, <clears throat> stabilizers but they are using different switches than the blues and <laughs> very interesting i guess those yeah you know, four switches that they gave you are probably not extras but to switch out with these which are they're just some linear switches let me see are they branded with a jazz as well These are Ajaz as well, but I've not seen those. They have the dustproof white stem, and they're a transparent, I would say like a uh, emerald green. But I wonder if that's part of the reason why the uh, stabilizers sound very decent for plate mounted and budget. They are lube, and they, huh. Now they're looped pretty good, honestly, and they're very, very well in place. They, these are, they've got some tight, tight tolerances. These stabilizers are not going anywhere. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far with how this is built, but the fact that they included, I mean, if they went this far, at least either include a better switch or, you know, do some even film lubing. But, I mean, it's really just the spring because the spring ping is just, oh, my goodness. But, yeah, the, uh, well, even the stabilizers have some ping if you put your ear to the back of it. So despite the case being nice and hefty, there's room in there for improvement to, to get filled up. Um, but the stabilizers are... I'm going to rank them probably in the top five stock stabilizers I've seen, especially when you're talking about a board under $100 or fully pre-built. They've, they've, they've done a lot of things right here. I've got to say, um, as far as the construction of this, 
I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to dig a little further into this and, and mod it. I do have a lot of TKLs. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the AJAZ AK873. This is a wired TKL that comes with a removable magnetic shroud. It has a steel plate as well as an ABS plastic case. The keycaps are made out of PBT, are double shot, OEM profiled, and shine through. This keyboard manufacturer or MSRPs for $55.99, but currently is on US Amazon with a 20% off coupon, bringing the price down to $44.79. It does have several colorway choices, and each one comes with a different uh, aviator or custom cable, a coiled cable with aviator connector that matches the highlighted color as this one came with an orange one. With the shroud on, the chin of this keyboard sits at 22 millimeters and the back sits at 26 and a half millimeters, providing for a four degree typing angle. If you use the included feet, it will bring the back height to 37 and a half millimeters with a nine degree typing angle. So this keyboard is actually fairly well built though. I think that they missed an opportunity when they did not add more padding inside of the case. There's too much case ping. Um, if you're using a, a steel plate, you're gonna get that. You need to do something to dampen that. Uh, if they would have gone with a polycarbonate plate, that would have been a different story. I don't think we would have had as, as much ping, but there's still also the problem with the switches. And obviously, I think the majority of the choices, because uh, it has several different colorways, and each one of them, the highlighted color, that's what the color of the coil cable that's included is. But I think they all only had the option of blue switches. Now, it has blue switches except for on the stabilized keys. Uh, those are some AJAS linears uh, with a white dust proof stem and uh, just a, like a, a bluish greenish kind of uh, transparent casing. Anyway, um, I want to say I like it, but the sound test is going to sound bad. I mean, honestly, I like the cable. I like the fact that it has uh, uh, P or IPXE, whatever it might be, uh, layer atop of the um, PCB, and it does have a what I would guess poron layer between the plate and the PCB. I don't like the fact that the PCB is that brownish beige color that I associate with cheaper electronics, um, and I don't appreciate that they didn't do enough dampening. I think they're just trying to make up for their flaws with this cable. And I don't like the fact that the only choices were blue switches because I mean if there were even red, browns, blacks, yellows, whatever, even if they're pingy, I can fix them real quick and I could, you know, do a sound test of stock and then, you know, with these lubed, but even these blue switches, they don't sound very good. So, I think they almost got it but for me and like I said I, I got it on sale below 50 bucks but I don't see the value some people might because of this but I, I'm gonna have to put in I just don't see the value there I, I mean I know some people love this cable I, I'm just um, just, just give me a cable that plugs in. I, I really, but that's me. Some people may like the cable and you may not mind the time and effort that's going to take to either, you know, replace the switches and mod the case or, you know, lube the existing switches, which I don't think even lubing them is going to save them. But that's just my personal opinion. But if you actually want to spend the time, I think this could turn into a very decent TKL. Uh, like I said, I think they missed a mark on a few things. Um, the uh, legends aren't necessarily my favorite font. It's it's like they wanted a, to get to a better quality board, but they skipped down on some things. And I mean, I mean the fonts don't even match between 
like that escape key and the rest of them. And without lights on, especially on the grade keys, the legends are very difficult to read. So, yeah, I, and personally, I, it's my honest opinion. I mean, you can go check and decide for yourself, um, but I think that the CIY X77, which is a TKL that I have a few different, um, I have a couple of different ones because I've modded them and I do like how they sound. They can end up sounding very, very nice. Uh, and they're roughly the same price as this. They also include a magnetic shroud, but they do not include the cable. But now, granted, I've only gotten those with brown or red switches. I don't think I've ever bought one with blue switches. But they sound better stock than this one does. And, I mean, or that that keyboard, CIY X77, sounds better stock. Meaning, less time I'm going to have to put into it as far as work goes in order to make it sound good. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test. Remember, this, this is loaded up with blues. Um, and, again, these blues... I just, that one came right out. That one of the escape key. Hmm. I wanted to kick my butt. I mean, they sound squishy. There's hardly even a proper click. That's more of a, I kind of want to click. Yeah, I just, I mean, these... They, they could have just put in some reds. Why they went with some blues? It's like, uh, I don't know. I mean, not that that, it, if this had different switches, I don't think it'd save it for me because I have, like I said, numerous other complaints, especially that PCB. But if you're willing to put in the work into it, I, it might end up sounding decent. I can't say. Uh, I personally like polycarbonate, though the majority of keyboards are ABS. But... It's that steel plate that, that's going to get you. But not that it can't be fixed. I mean, pouring silicon in there probably would make a big difference as well as the tape mod and the swapping out switches. But again, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this AJAZZ AK873. I hope that everybody is doing well. And until next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.